Hello, my name is Steve, and I'm playing the fourth game of my Atbago 1943 MLB tournament. Today we have the 1943 Washington Senators against the 1943 Boston Red Sox, and the Senators are a fifth seed and the Red Sox are a twelfth seed. As you can see here on my bracket, the winner will face the number 13 seed 1943 Philadelphia Phillies who beat the number 4 seed 1943 Detroit Tigers. So let's go over here to the game. I've already set the lineups for the uh, Senators. Case in right field is hitting leadoff. Johnson in left is batting second. Spence is third playing center field. Vernon is batting fourth, playing first. Pretty is playing second, batting fifth. Early is the catcher, hitting sixth. Moore is the DH, hitting seventh. Sullivan is shortstop, hitting eighth. And Clift is the third baseman, batting ninth. Nigling is the pitcher, and he is, uh, I can't remember what he is. I'll have to, I could probably click here and look. He is uh, AY. Okay, for the Red Sox, Cronin is playing third, hitting leadoff. Door is hitting second, playing second. Culberson is in center field, batting third. Partee is the catcher, hitting fourth. Fox is the right fielder, hitting fifth. Tabor is in left, hitting sixth. Garrison is the DH, hitting seventh. Lupian is the first baseman, hitting eighth, and Lake is the shortstop, hitting ninth. Euston is the pitcher, and he is the AYZ for the Red Sox. So let's get started here. We got an 11, which is a single for George Case, and he's probably going to follow that up with a steal of second base. And there he goes, and he slides in safely. So we have a runner on second with no outs. Johnson's up to bat. And Johnson gets a 17, and he reaches first base on the uh, right fielder Fox's era. Case scores, and the score's one to nothing in the top of the first. So we got one on, one in, and nobody out. And here's Spence up to bat, Stan Spence. And they do a hit and run, and he gets a four, which is a, he rolled a 11, which had a zero in the first column, and then a four in the second column, which is a single. And uh, Johnson was running on the play, so we have first and third with nobody out and one in. Here's Mickey Vernon up to bat. And he hits a comebacker to the pitcher. The runner on third holds, and the runner on first goes to second, and he gets out at first. So we have one out, runners on second and third, and Jerry Pretty's up to bat. The infield's playing deep, and Pretty gets 14, so he draws the walk. We have bases loaded with one out and one in, and Jake Early up to bat. Jake Early... Is a big swing and nothing but air. So he strikes out and we have two outs in the top of the first. Here's Gene Moore. And Gene Moore gets an eight and that's a fly out to the right fielder. So now we have uh, Joe Cronin leading off for the uh, Red Sox. And the pitch is on the way. And Joe Cronin draws a walk. So we have Cronin on first. With the Red Sox down one to nothing in the bottom of the first with nobody out. Bobby Doerr hits a home run over the left field fence and two run score. So the Red Sox are up two to one. Leon Culberson's up to bat with nobody out and he pops out to the third baseman. So here's Roy Partee. Roy Partee gets a 
27, which is a 5-3 ground out. Pete Fox is up. Pete Fox grounds out to uh, Sullivan, who is the uh, shortstop. So that's 6-3 ground out. Okay, and Sullivan's leading off the top of the second for the Senators. He gets 31, which is a fly out to center field. Harlan Clift is up. He gets a seven, and that's single to right. So we have a runner on first with one out in the top of the second. George Case is up, and Tex Eusen is hitting the corners. He's got a 2-0 count on George Case, and he forces um, Harlan Clift at second, so that's a... Uh, Three, six, force out, fielder's choice. So George Case is on first. And here is Bob Johnson up to bat. There's two outs, and Bob Johnson doubles over first, so the run comes in to score, and Johnson's at second. So we have a tie score at two to two with two outs in the top of the second. Stan Spence is up. He gets a nine, and that's a ground out to Eddie Lake. So that's a 6-3 to end the inning. It's 2-2 two to two going in the bottom of the second. Jim Tabor's up to bat. He gets a nine, and that's a ground out 6-3. Ford Garrison is up. He gets a 40. That's a foul ball. And Garrison follows that up with a single to right field. So we have a runner on first with one out and Tony Lupian is up to bat. He hits a sharp grounder to the shortstop and he can just go to first so Garrison advances to second. So we have runner on second with two outs in the bottom of the second. Here's Eddie Lake up. Eddie Lake gets 27 and that's a strikeout against uh, Niggling. So we go to the top of the third with the score 2-2. Two to two. Mickey Vernon's up to bat. He gets a 35. That's a ground out to the first baseman, unassisted. Jerry Pretty's up. 2-2 two, two game here. Jerry Pretty gets an 8, which is a pop out to the third baseman. So we have two outs, and Jake Early's up to bat. And Jake Early draws a walk. So we have a runner on first, trying to get something going here with two outs. Gene Moore's up. And Gene Moore gets the force out. 4-6 uh, on the infield. So that's uh, all the Senators can do that inning is a walk. So Senators have two runs on four hits and no errors. And the Red Sox have two runs on two hits with one error. And we're going to the bottom of the third. Joe Cronin leads off the inning with a single to right. So Joe Cronin's on first with nobody out. And Bobby Doerr's up. He homered his last time up. And he gets an 18. He hits it hard. And Sullivan can't handle it. So we have runners on first and second with uh, nobody out. And that's an error on the shortstop. E6. Leon Culberson's up to bat. Culberson, Culberson grounds into a double play. That is a 1-6-3 uh, double play, and Joe Cronin advances to third. So we have two outs with a runner on third and Roy Partee up in the bottom of the third. And that's a 35, and that is a pop-out to the catcher behind the plate. <laughs> or, oh, he popped out to the third baseman. I'm sorry. So... But anyway, that's three out. So we go to the top of the third, three to three, with John Sullivan up for the Senators. John Sullivan strikes out. So that is the second strikeout for Tex Houston. Harlan Clift is up. And Harlan Clift strikes out. That's the third strikeout for Houston. George Case. Coming to bat with two outs here in the top of the fourth, and George Case grounds out to the first baseman, or the third baseman throws the first and gets the third out. So we're going to the bottom of the fourth, 2-2 two -two ball game. 
Pete Fox leads off for the Red Sox. He gets a 29, which is a 1-3 ground out. Pitcher to first baseman. Jim Tabor's up. He gets a 30, which is a fly out to left field. Ford Garrison comes up with two outs, and he strikes out. That is uh, Nigling's, let's see here. That is his second strikeout of the day. So Bob Johnson leads off the top of the fifth of a 2-2 ball game for the Senators. And Bob Johnson gets a 33, which is a strikeout. The Y uh, control rating for Tex Houston turns that 33 into a strikeout. It would have been a pop out to the second baseman. Stan Spence is up with one out. And Stan Spence fouls the pitch off. So Stan, Stan Spence gets another pitch and he grounds out to the shortstop. So that's 6 3. Mickey Vernon comes up with two outs. Mickey Vernon gets an 11. That's a single to left. Mickey Vernon's off with the pitch, and he's still second. So we have an 0-1 count on Jerry Pretty at the plate, and runner on second with two outs in a 2-2 ball game. Let's see if Jerry Pretty can do anything with it. He can't. He strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 2-2 ball game here with Tony Lupian, the first baseman, leading off for the Red Sox. And Tony Lupian draws a walk. Eddie Lake is up with a runner on first. Nobody out. Eddie Lupian grounds out. No. Eddie Lake grounds out to the shortstop, 6-3, and Lupian advances to second. So we have Joe Cronin up with one out and a runner on second. And Joe Cronin gets a 66, and that is a one goodbye home run. We have a 4-2 ball game. The Red Sox just took the lead in the bottom of the fifth. Bobby Doerr's up. He gets seven. That's a single to right. He's two for three on the day with a single and a home run. So Doerr's at first with one out. Leon Culberson's up. Leon Culberson hits into the 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, four, six or no, it's a 5-4 four, force out at second. So they cut down Bobby Doerr at second, but Culverson beats out the return throw to first. So Roy Partee's up with two outs and two in. Roy Partee gets a seven, and Harlan Clift throws him out at first. So we're going to the top of the six of a 4-2 ball game. Jake Early leads off for the Senators, and he draws a walk. Gene Moore's up. With nobody out. And Gene Moore flies out to Jim Tabor in left field. John Sullivan comes up and he forces Jake Early at second. So that's a 5 3 5 4 force out. And he beats the throw to first, so he keeps him from turning the double play. Harlan Clift is up with a runner on first and two outs. And Tex Houston's hitting the corners, so he's got a 2-0 count on Harlan Clift. And he comes back in with it, and Harlan Clift grounds out to Eddie Lake, the shortstop, and he throws the first. And that's a 6-3 to end the inning. So it's 4-2 going to the bottom of the sixth, and the Red Sox are up. Pete Fox leads off. And he grounds out to the pitcher, so that's a 1-3 ground out. Jim Tabor follows him. And that is a 9, which is a 6-3 ground out. So there's two outs. And we have Ford Garrison coming up with two outs in the bottom of the six of a 4-2 ball game. Ford Garrison flies out to George Case, the uh, right fielder for the Senators. And George Case is leading off. So he's leading off the top of the seventh of a 4-2 ball game. Trying to get the Senators back in it here. And he gets an 11. That's a single to left. And he's off with the pitch. And he's still second. 
So we have a runner on second with nobody out and an 0-1 count on the batter. Bob Johnson bears down here and he gets a single. George Case scores, so we have a 4-3 ball game with a runner on first. And let's look and see what we have in the bullpen here. Not much. We got a B and an A. The A's got a W. And I'm pretty sure Tex Houston is used to going a little further in the ball game. So let's let him see what happens here. We got a hit and run and Stan Spence doubles to right, driving in Bob Johnson. So we now have a 2-2 ball game, and Stan Spence is on second with Mickey Vernon up. And uh, I'm going to let Euston try to get out of it. He's uh, scattered eight hits. He struck out six and walked three. And he gets Mickey Vernon on a strikeout. Jerry Pretty is up with one out and a runner on second and two in. And Jerry Pretty grounds out to the shortstop. And Stan Spence advances to third. So we have a runner on third with two outs. And Jake Hurley's up. And Jake Hurley grounds out to the pitcher. So we have a 1-3 ground out to end the inning. We have a 4-2 ball game going to the bottom of the seventh with Tony Lupin, Lupian leading off for the Red Sox. And Tony Lupian grounds out to the pitcher. So Eddie Lake is up with one out. Tie ball game and he draws a walk. So we have a runner on first with Joe Cronin up. And Joe Cronin's two for two today. He has a home run, a single, and he's drawn a walk. He has two RBIs. So let's see if he can continue his good luck here. Not exactly. He grounds into the five or to the six, four, three double play. So that erases the runner. We have two outs with Gene Moore up for the, oh, we have three outs. That's right, we have three outs because Lupian led off with a 1-3 ground out. So uh, Gene Moore opens up the top of the eighth. I think the next base runner, we're going to have to go to the bullpen here. He flies out to center field. John Sullivan's up. John Sullivan grounds out to the first baseman who... Tags at the bag, and that is two outs. Harlan Clift is up. And Harlan Clift grounds out to the shortstop 6-3. So the Senators are going to the bullpen. They're bringing in Ray Scarborough. He is a BYW. And Bobby Doerr is facing the new pitcher here. Let's see what he can do. Bobby Doerr singles to right. So we have a runner on first with no outs in the bottom of the eighth with Leon Culverson up. Leon Culverson gets a single, so we have runners on first and third. And Roy Partee is up. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Oh, he gets 14, so he draws a walk. We have bases loaded and nobody out. Pete Fox could make something happen here. Oh, Stan Spence drops Pete Fox's routine fly for an error. Both Bobby Doerr and Leon Culverson score. Roy Partee gets over to third. And Stan Spence redeems himself by tr throwing out Pete Fox, trying for second. So they get one out on the play, but two runs are in. Partee is sitting on third, and there's one out with Jim Tabor up, and the Red Sox have retaken the lead. And they get a 27, so he grounds out to Harlan Cliff, but he's able to hold the runner at third. So there's two outs, runner on third, and there's two in. Ford Garrison comes up. Ford Garrison grounds out to the shortstop, so that's a 6-3 to end the inning. And I think the Red Sox are going to go to the bullpen. They're going to bring in, uh, I think we're going to go with Brown. He is a AYW, and that's Mace Brown for Tex Houston.
in the top of the night. So he's got a clean inning here. So hopefully that W won't come to hurt him. We got a 30. That's a fly to left field. So that's one down. Here's Bob Johnson, number two hitter for the Senators. Bob Johnson draws a walk. Oh, those base on balls. So the time runs at the plate. And Spence grounds out to Eddie Lake, the shortstop, who throws him out at first, but Bob Johnson moves to second. Bob Johnson's run doesn't mean a whole lot. Here's Mickey Vernon up. And Mickey Vernon grounds out to the shortstop 6-3, and that ends the ball game. Mace Brown gets the save. Now we're going to save this on the collections module here. And let me go over to my, so that was a 4-2 ball game. I don't remember if it was 4-2 or 4-3. I'll go back and check. The joys of getting older and not being able to remember anything from five seconds ago. Let's look at game history. And the box score. Six to four ball game. Boy, I really missed that. Let's see. Cronin was two for three. Bobby Doerr was three for four. Culverson was one for four. And Ford Harrison was one for four. So the Red Sox won the game with a six runs on seven hits and one error. The Senators had four runs on eight hits with two errors. Euston went eight strong, gave up eight hits, three earned runs on two doubles, struck out six, and walked three. Looks like Johnny Niggling gave up five hits, four runs, four, they were all earned, and he gave up two home runs, struck out two, and walked three, so I believe uh, Ray Scarborough got the loss there and I think it showed that on the uh, screen at the end of the game so anyway that's six to four so let's go up here to the my bracket they had four they had six so we're they're gonna face the uh, 12 seed against 13 seed which was a 1943 Phillies so our next game will be the 1943 New York Yankees against the 1943 Boston Braves. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, hit that thumbs up button, and if you really like it, subscribe and hit that bell so you can uh, be notified of upcoming games. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.